Hello friends, today we are going to discuss introduction to physics. Physics. Physics is the branch of science which deals or discovers about the physical quantities. Physical quantities are measurable. Measurable means anything which can be measured. The measurement can be done in two ways. Size or magnitude and the second one is direction. There are eight different directions, north, south, east, west, northeast, southeast, northwest and southwest. Any physical quantity which have both magnitude and direction is called vector quantity. Example, displacement, force, etc. And the physical quantity which have only magnitude but no direction is called a scalar quantity. Example of scalar quantity is distance, work, heat. Let me give you an example to understand better what is vector quantity and scalar quantity. Assume the brick at position A and we have moved this brick from A to B which is 4 cm and the direction is left to right. This figure gives you both that is magnitude which is 4 cm and the direction left to right. Just now I said that any physical quantity which gives you both magnitude and direction is called a vector quantity. Instead of drawing a diagram, if I just say you that I have displaced the brick 4 cm from, uh, from A to B. So from this sentence, you only get the information about the magnitude. The magnitude is 4 cm, but you will not be able to know the direction. To which direction I have moved the brick? Towards the right, towards the left, up, down you don't know so the magnitude which only gives the mag uh, the quantity which only gives you the magnitude but no direction is called a scalar quantity let us take one more example i have started from the, my home and went all the way to the high tech school so here the distance the magnitude is 1 kilometer and the direction is from left to right there are two ways to reach the school. One is this which I just traveled that is one kilometer magnitude and the direction is left to right. And the other way is all the way like this. You can see it's uh, all confusion left right left right and I have reached the school. Here the magnitude is 1.5 kilometer. In this case you can only say the magnitude but no direction. Whereas in this case this route you can say both magnitude that is 1 kilometer and the direction is left to right. So this shortest distance which gives you both magnitude and direction is called displacement denoted with the letter S. It is the example of vector quantity and this path which only gives you the magnitude but no direction this whole path is called as distance and this is the example of scalar quantity. One more example, a body started at point A and has come back to A. So here the whole path is the distance is 2 pi r. In this case there is no shortest distance. So displacement here is 0. By this we end our topic. Now we are going to see how physical quantities are classified. Physical quantities are classified into two types primary physical quantity and secondary physical quantity. Primary physical quantities are also called as independent physical quantity or base physical quantity. Secondary physical quantity is also called as derived physical quantity or dependent physical quantity. There are seven types of primary physical quantities that is mass, length, time, electric current, luminous int intensity, quantity of substance, temperature and the remaining all physical quantities are comes under secondary physical quantities like speed, distance, acceleration, velocity, work, energy etc. All physical quantities are measured in systems. There are three systems MKS, CGS and SI. MKS system is called as meter, kilogram, second. 
CGS full form is centimeter gram second and SI is systems international or you can say standard of international which is globally accepted. You have to keep one thing in mind that is MKS is, is equals to SI in magnitude of physical quantity. For example, the units of force is kg meter into second inverse 2 in MKS system. The same thing is written as Newton in SI system. This is for MKS and if you write the units of force in CGS system, you just have to write in kg place gram, in meters place centimeter and time will remain the same. So in MKS system it is kg meter second inverse 2 and in CGS system it is gram centimeter second inverse 2. By this we end our topic what is physics and how physical quantities are classified.